from Century City, Hollywood, the Miss Universe pageant celebrates its 30th anniversary on television. Good evening. I'm Angela Visser, Miss Universe 1989. We're in the glamour capital of the world tonight with the world's most glamorous young women. Here at the Schubert Theater, our celebrity-filled audience has arrived. And in less than two hours, a new Miss Universe will be crowned. How will she be chosen? Who will she be? You're about to see it all, live. And now it's time. Look out, world, here they come. Live from Hollywood, California, the 1990 Miss Universe pageant, celebrating its 30th anniversary on television. Starring 71 of the most beautiful women in the world. With your hosts, Dick Clark, Lisa Gibbons, and Margaret Gardner, Miss Universe 1978. Now here are the 71 contestants for the title of Miss Universe 1990. Mr. Dick Clark. Thank you very much. Thank you and good evening. Every Miss Universe pageant is special, but tonight's is extra special. The pageant's 30th year on television. During the past three decades, beautiful young women from all over the world have traveled to the most exotic places to compete for the Miss Universe crown. Satellite from Republica Dominicana. From one of the world's great cities, Lima, Peru. From way down under in Perth, Western Australia. From Seoul, Korea. From surprising Singapore. From Taipei. On the island of Taiwan. The Republic of China. Yes, the most exciting cities, and tonight the first Miss Universe pageant of the 90s brings that tradition right here to Hollywood, the entertainment capital of the world. We begin with our parade of nations. Now each candidate steps forward and she'll present a costume representing her native land. Our judges will be voting for the best national costume based on originality, style, and presentation. Most importantly, you'll see how our contestants looked in the three preliminary competitions that have been going on this past week. During that time, our panel of judges have scored them in the swimsuit competition where contestants wore swimsuits by Catalina, the evening gown competition with the ladies wearing gowns of their own choosing, and the interview competition where each judge met and talked with every candidate. The scores from these three preliminary competitions carry equal weight in determining our 10 semifinalists. Now, let's meet all the candidates for the title of Miss Universe 1990. The contestants from Central and North America, Belize. I'm a career in travel and tourism, and I hope someday you'll visit my country. I am Isela. Mexico. I have a degree in tourism, and after study public relations, I hope to have my own company. I am Maria del Rosario. Canada. Someday I plan to travel around the world 
teaching English as a second language. I am Robin Lee Uzanov. Costa Rica. I am a linguist. I speak five languages, and I hope to be a translator. I am Julieta Posla. Honduras. I'm studying law, and I would like to have a political science degree to represent my country. I'm Vivian Moreno. Greenland. Someday, I wish to be known as a great actress from Greenland. Later, I want to teach in singing and drama. I'm Sasha Nugaga Motsfield. Guatemala. I am a model. I am studying to become bilingual secretary. I am Marianela Abate. El Salvador. I'm studying design and hope one day for my creations to be known worldwide. I'm Gracia Maria Guerra. USA. Someday I hope to make you feel at home and happy when you check into my hotel and rent a car from me. I'm Carol Ann Marie Gibbs. The contestants from Asia and the land down under, Singapore. I'm a three university graduate, and my ambition is to be a businesswoman in fashion and beauty. My name is Ong Lei Ling. Republic of China. I'm a television hostess, the model, and I hope someday to study fashion design and travel around the world. I'm Choi Ping Wang. Malaysia. I'm in the fashion business, and hope one day I have my own fashion shop. My name is Annalise. Sri Lanka. I'm studying to be a charter secretary and hope to be a successful career woman. I'm Roshani Alvihar. Hong Kong. I'm a television actress and a student in fashion design and merchandising. My name is Monica Chan. Japan. I'm a secretary for an English professor in a women's college. And someday, I hope to study abroad. I'm Hiroko Miyoshi. Korea. I'm a Korean soap opera star, and in the future, I hope to be a great cooking teacher. My name is Oh Hyun Jung. India. I'm degree in psychology, and I work with handicapped children. Someday, I hope to teach them. I'm Suzanne Sablo. Philippines. I'm a fashion model and a political science graduate. My ambition is to become the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. My name is Hermelina Leo Banal Padilla. Thailand. I have studied business and marketing, and hope to have a career in advertising. I am Kasla Pond, Simon Pond. Australia. I'm a professional model and would like to pursue a career with international public relations and work in the Australian hotel industry. My name is Charmaine Ware. The contestants from the British Isles and Western Europe, Holland. I speak four languages. I'm an international model and I hope to work in television. I'm Stephanie Hallenday. Scotland. I'm a college student and would like to be a makeup artist, specializing in film and stage work. My name is Karina Ferguson. Denmark. I'm an international model and I like to do some acting, but later I plan a career as a reporter. I'm Mike Wittgenstein. Norway. I'm a fashion model and in the future I want to be a nurse and work with children. I'm Mona Grut. Wales. I am a mostly detective and would like to own my own business. I also do volunteer work for children's charities. I'm Jane Lloyd. Portugal. Right now I'm a fashion model and a student and I play in a career in film fashion. I'm Angelica Rosado. France. I'm studying economic at the University of Bordeaux. I plan a career as a businesswoman. I'm Gael Boiry. Iceland. As a high school student, I'm majoring in physics and later I plan to enter medical school. I am Hilte Tunkat. Switzerland. I am an economic graduate and I hope to become successful in my career as a real estate broker. I am Catherine Mazzol. England. As a beach therapist, I'd like to specialize in theatrical makeup and I model part-time. My name is Carla Barrow. Ireland. I'm a brown belt in karate and a certified diver. I'm a fashion model and look forward to a career in broadcasting. I'm Barbara Curran. Finland. After my university studies, I plan to specialize in international business. I'm Dina Vierto. Sweden. I'm studying economic, hope to travel the world, photographing different cultures, and work as a stand-up comedian. I'm Linda Isaacson. Germany. I'm studying German literature and language, and someday I would like to be a fashion journalist. I am Christiane Stöcker. Austria. I'm a winner decorator, shop assistant, and next year I begin studying fashion design. I'm Sandra Lobenberger. Contestants from Eastern Europe, Poland. I intend to continue my career as a model and in the future open an art gallery. I am Małgorzata Obieżalska. Soviet Union. 
I'm a model from Riga, Latvia. And I'd like to become a movie star. My name is Eva Stenbolski. Czechoslovakia. Next year, I finish my medical university and I plan to specialize in rehabilitative medicine. My name is Jana Hronková. The contestants from South America, Argentina. After high school, after high school I want to study psychology and work as a model. My name is Paola de la Torre. Chile. I'm Estela in accounting and I hope to be a great entrepreneur. My name is Urania Halpenhoff. Bolivia. I am a school graduate who study law and psychology. My challenge is to become a minister of education. My name is Rosario Rico Toro. Venezuela. I'm studying industrial engineering, speak three languages, and I'm involved in environmental causes. I am Andreina Goetz. Paraguay. I speak five languages. I want to be a businesswoman and help the world economy. I'm Monica Platecano. Ecuador. I am a model, and I would like to be a successful television hostess and have a family. I'm Jessica Nunez. Sure enough. I will be studying cosmetology, and I hope to work in the fashion industry. My my name is Saskia Sibilo. Colombia. I like a career in public relations because I like working with other people. My name is Lisette Maecha. Peru. I'm a professional model and modeling teacher. I hope someday I have my own modeling school. I'm Marisol Martinez. Uruguay. I'm a journalist and law student, and I hope to create a television program to help children. I'm Olina Perez. St. Vincent and Grenadine. Because of the unknown beauty of my country, my ambition is to study Teresa Marketing. I am Lenore Brown. Trinidad Tobago. I'm a model and I own a ladies' boutique. Someday I hope to study child psychology. I am Maurice de Gobel. Northern Mariana. I'm a college student and hope to be a future political leader in my country. My name is Edwina Titan Mendes. Wow. I'm a student at the University of Guam where I'm majoring in the field of secondary education with a specialty in mathematics. I am Marcia Demian. Mauritius. When I complete my degree in management, I hope to pursue a career in politics. I'm Anita Ramgati. Turks and Caicos. I'm an assistant hotel manager and someday hope to own and operate my own hotel in the island. I am Karen Bean. Dominican Republic. After college, I hope to be a interior designer and TV hostess. I am Rosario Rodriguez. Bahamas. I'm a model and a graduate of Barry University. I hope to be a successful entrepreneur. I am Lisa Sawyer. Cayman Island. I'm a condominium manager and I plan a career in real estate marketing and finance management. I'm Trisha Whitaker. Puerto Rico. I am studying and I'm hoping the future to open my own school for handicapped children. My name is Maria Luisa Fortunio. Aruba. I am an executive secretary and hope to obtain a degree in computer science. I am Gwendolyn Quidama. British Virgin Island. As a student at Point Park College in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, I plan a career in marketing. I'm Justina Hodge. Jamaica. I'm a key convert in the Christ movement and plan to pursue a career in interior design. I am Michelle Hall. Bermuda. My daughter has become a clothing store buyer. My cousin was Miss Bermuda 19 years ago. I'm Janet Tucker. From the Mediterranean, Middle East, and Africa. After high school, I would like to attend university and study to become a veterinarian. My name is Anna Maria Malipiero. Egypt. As a student of tourism and hotel management, I hope one day to become a successful tour guide. My name is Dalia Beher. Malta. I'm a student and I am aiming to become a physiotherapist as well as a world-known pianist in the near future. My name is Charmaine Farrugia. Turkey. I'm studying English language and literature and someday hope for a career in international public relations. I am Judy Dertesh. Greece. I study public relations and I work as a model. I plan a career in both. I'm Jenny Palacino. Spain. I'm a student and I hope to become a professional in the field of tourism. I'm Raquel Revuelta. Israel. I speak Hebrew, Russian and English. Come from a family of physicians and intend to study child psychology. I'm Yvonne Kubliak. Gibraltar. I'm a receptionist, Puria, and one day I hope to own my own modeling agency. My name is Odi Jingles. 
Nigeria. I'm a theater arts graduate currently involved in anti-drug and humanitarian campaigns. My name is Sabina Ume. Thanks, ladies. Good luck to each of you. Now, let's see if you have guessed who the judges picked for the best national costume award. By the way, this does not count in the scoring to determine the new Miss Universe, but it's always been the pageant's way of celebrating the wonderful diversity of these countries, and we wanted to share it with you on this particular anniversary. I have the winner here. The country that wins the costume award is Colombia. <laughs> Donde esta? <laughs> Congratulations. There you are. Thank you very much. We will be back to reveal our 10 semifinalists for the Miss Universe right after this. Welcome back to this uh, dazzling array. Now, since the Miss Universe pageant is coming to you live tonight from the entertainment capital of the world, it's only appropriate that our hostess for this evening is very much at home in Hollywood. Would you please welcome from entertainment tonight, Miss Lisa Gibbons. Good luck, ladies. Good evening. Hello, Dick. How are you? Welcome. Good evening, everyone. Nice to see you again. We want to welcome our audience of 600 million people in 65 countries around the world. Isn't it amazing, Dick? Yeah. And what a rapidly changing world it is. Something that's reflected here tonight with some very special news. As a matter of fact, uh, two of our contestants have come from what uh, were just a few months ago called the Iron Curtain countries. Exactly right. Miss Poland is here along with Miss Czech. Slovakia. Yeah. And for the first time in the history of the Miss Universe pageant, there is a candidate with us this evening from the Soviet Union. And we are delighted to have all of you with us. Thank you for joining us. And we look forward to the day when we can welcome young women from every country on earth to the Miss Universe pageant. Uh, the Miss Universe pageant is the biggest international event in Los Angeles since the 1984 Olympics. And there's also some news tonight about the pageant itself. Yes, we've got uh, a couple of levels of new competition in the judging area, and uh, things are going to get a little more exciting. And as the evening progresses, you're going to give us some insights along the way? I sure will. I'm going to be up in the anchor booth, actually, along with Margaret Gardner, mm -hmm. Miss Universe from 1978. The two of us will be recapping the scores, of course, but we're also going to give you those great backstage stories and, you know, a little bit of dish every now and then. Gossip every yeah, now and then. Yeah, exactly. Right. Just Good a little enough. bit. Well, the pageant's about to start. I think I better start my climb. Your climb? You make it sound like Mount Everest or something up Well, there. I mean, it, after all, it's 87 stairs, Dick. Yes, oh, I God. counted them. In high heels. Yes, yes, This yes. is quite an accomplishment. Right, on your way. Lisa Gibbons, <laughs> ladies you. and gentlemen, we'll, we'll see you at the summit. <laughs> now, we come to the first turning point of the evening. You've just met 71 spectacular young women from 71 different places on the planet, all here in Hollywood tonight, seeking the Miss Universe crown. And now, we're about to narrow that number from 71 down to 10. Ladies, if you will, please take your places. Earlier, you saw their scores in three preliminary competitions, and the computer has now added those together. Thank you, sir. And average them for the composite scores, which you'll see on your screen. Now, the top 10 scores determine our semifinalists. I'm about to reveal them. Ladies, if you're ready, keep in mind, I will announce these names in no particular order, a random order. We're going from 71 to 10 right now. The first country is Miss India. Columbia.
Miss Mexico. Miss Turkey. Miss Chile. And that's five of the 10, we have five still to go. Next is Miss Bolivia. Miss Czechoslovakia. Three semi-finalists remain, one of which is Miss Venezuela. There are two left. One is Miss USA. Final semi-finalist is Miss Norway. And there they are, the 10 semi-finalists for Miss Universe 1990. special even from way up here in Mount Hollywood a lot of excitement going on this evening we have 600 million viewers watching around the world as we mentioned no doubt about it I have got one of the best seats on this planet right now we'd like to recap the scores in the preliminary competition for you now as we turn to the monitor in the swimsuit category Miss Norway out in front with a pretty big lead Miss India in second place and third place went to Miss Dominican Republic in the evening gown category, Miss USA ahead, followed very closely by Miss Venezuela and Miss Czechoslovakia. At this point, though, all these scores are erased from the computer. The 10 semifinalists begin tonight's competition anew, each of them on equal footing. And joining me now is our color commentator for this evening. She has hosted her own talk show, so she has the real insider's view of this pageant, Miss Universe of 1978, Margaret Gardner. Welcome, Margaret. Thank you, and good evening. We should begin by telling you that only you at home can hear what we're saying up here in the booth. Yes, the contestants, the judges, and the theater audience can't hear us. Well, it would not only affect the judges' opinions, maybe, but I think that we could rattle a few nerves among the girls. Indeed, and that's the last thing they need right now. Exactly. Now, we've been getting to know these girls all week. Margaret, you know just about everything there is to know about them. Tell us who stands out for you in this group of ten. Well, Lisa, I took an informal poll of the contestants, and their top girls were Bolivia, USA, Venezuela, and I have to agree with them. They were pretty good. Well, they did very well, actually, if that's who they chose, because, you know, those, those girls are up there, and it's no surprise really to see Miss Venezuela there. They have been in the finals eight times in the last 10 years. Indeed. Um, I'm actually willing to go out on a limb and predict that Venezuela will be in the final three this year. Are you going to jet on ahead <laughs> to the final three? That's brave of you, Margaret. Well, it's not that brave. Venezuela has won three times since 1979, and the Latin American girls always do well. In fact, they have five of the 10 semifinalists. You're right, they do. Half of them are from Latin America. Those girls compete very strongly. Well, why is that? Well, pageants are a very big deal in Latin America. These countries don't have any royalty of their own, so the pageant winners become their celebrities. When someone wins, they declare a national holiday and have even immortalized past winners on postage stamps. In fact, in 1958, when Miss Columbia won, the government built her a mansion and declared her tax exempt for life. You're kidding. <laughs> That's something I would love to have happen to me. That's not a bad deal. I mean, you get a crown, you get a title, a mansion, and tax-free status. 
Something tells me the IRS isn't going to do that for Miss USA. I got it. <laughs> a lot of great behind the scenes stories going on here tonight. We'll be telling you more as the competition goes on. And remember, you at home will see everything the judges see tonight to choose the winner so you can make your own choice for Miss Universe as you watch with us. Next, we'll join the contestants for a swimming pool party. That's right after this word from Ultra Slim Fast. Because tonight is the Miss Universe Pageant's gala anniversary celebration, and we're here in Hollywood, we wanted to have a very special panel of judges, and I'd like to introduce them to you now. Audience, if you would, please hold your applause until I finish, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, our distinguished judges include a star on Broadway and in films as both a dramatic actress and comedian. She's received three Emmy Award nominations for her television performances, Jane Meadows. He's brought us such great films as The Jagged Edge and Ice Station Zebra, the founder of television's Orion Productions, Martin Ransahoff. Internationally known psychologist, talk show host, and author of the bestsellers Men Who Hate Women and Women Who Love Them and Toxic Parents, Dr. Susan Forward. He has 11 platinum albums, has worked in movies, TV, and now this 1990 Grammy Award nominee is preparing his new album as well as an 80-city world concert tour, Latin superstar Cheyenne. A fashion style authority and celebrity interviewer, he is the West Coast editor of one of today's most popular magazines, LUSA. She is Leonora Langley. He chose to leave his family's tire business and instead made an outstanding mark as the founder of a quality California winery and brewery. He's Brooks Firestone. Lead singer of the Grammy Award winning Commodores, who are currently at work on their new album and upcoming world tour, and have been named Goodwill Ambassadors for the Drug Enforcement Administration, J.D. Nicholas. Outstanding costume designer of Raiders of the Lost Ark, Thriller, and the Academy Award winning nominee for Coming to America, Deborah Nadulman. Author of the book Cambodian Odyssey and a movie and television actor who won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his performance in The Killing Fields, he's Dr. Hang S. Noor. A member of the Spanish and French royal family, daughter of His Royal Highness of the Duke of Calabria, fourth in line to the Spanish royal throne, she is Princess Maria de Bourbon dos Sicilias y Orleans. Star of Broadway, London's West End, and MGM musicals like Showboat, Kiss Me Kate, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, he currently stars as Clayton Fowler on Dallas, he's Howard Keel. Creator of The Tonight Show, author, pianist, and songwriter, he's simply an American television legend and one of America's great funny men, Mr. Steve Allen. Ladies and gentlemen, our distinguished judges. are backstage changing into the after final ensembles, we'd like to show you how the scoring system works. It's a system similar to the Olympic scoring. As each contestant competes, each judge will enter a score ranging from 1.1 to 9.9 .9 into these computer terminals. We'll show the individual scores to you at home, like this but the contestants won't see them, and neither will the judges, so they won't know how the other judges are voting. If a judge enters a score too late, it will not appear on the screen. Then, for each event, the computer determines the contestants' average score, like this. The average scores for all three competitions are added, and the top, top six composite scores determine the six finalists. In a few moments, these terminals will start humming as we meet the semi-finalists in the interview competition. But first, here's Lisa. Thank you, Margaret. Hollywood means swimming pool parties, and some of the town's most glamorous pools played host to the contestants. First, proving those fabulous suits can actually get wet, Karina Sope, Miss Universe 1964, invited the girls for some splashy fun.
Something doesn't seem exactly right about all that to me. You figure it out. 71 gorgeous girls fall into a swimming pool. No lifeguard shows up? I don't think so. <laughs> that sounds like the story of my life, Lisa. <laughs> we were talking earlier about all the changes, of course, in the Eastern Bloc countries. Margaret, tell us how you think Glasnost has affected the pageant. Well, not only is Miss Soviet Union here for the first time ever, but until tonight, Czechoslovakia hadn't sent a candidate in 25 years. Because back in the mid-60s, Miss Czechoslovakia defected to Germany Germany on her way home from the pageant. It's an amazing story. Something tells me the days of defection, though, are long behind us. Indeed, I think Gorbachev changed all of that. He certainly did. Okay, we'll meet the ten semifinalists one by one in the interview competition when we come back after this word from Head and Shoulders. This universe pageant will continue. Now, let's uh, welcome back our ten semifinalists, each wearing an after-five dress of her own choosing. Now, the semifinal competition begins with the interviews. And let me remind you, uh, armchair judges at home, that poise, intelligence, personality, and the content of the answers are all equally important in this competition. Only you at home will see the scores. Now, for any candidate who feels she may have difficulty understanding or expressing herself in English, we have interpreters from Inlingua International Language Center standing by. And we'll meet our first candidate now. Uh, this is Miss India, Suzanne Sablok. She's 23 years of age, a graduate of the University of India, and a model. Now, you've been a model in India for a while, but you told the press earlier that this was going to be your last year. Why? Because I think I've had enough of it. I've enjoyed it. I've reached the peak of my career. And now I want to study and do much more interesting things, like helping handicapped children, which is my aim from the day I was from a very early age. Now, you've been to the United States several times. How do we differ from you, at least in terms of the women? The women over here are really beautiful. So are the Indian women. But we are very uh, mysterious. We have a certain mystery about ourselves, which we don't let go. And I think the American women are very modern. Thank you very much. Please wait for a moment while the judges give you a score. Now, if you'll step over there, please, that's Miss India. Let's meet next Miss Columbia, Lisette Maecha. She's a recent high school graduate, studying public relations, looking for a career in tourism. And may I have my interpreter, please? We read so much in the news about uh, drugs and Colombia. Could you tell, please tell me, how much should the United States have to do with the Colombian drug affair? Nosotros leemos mucho en los periódicos acerca del problema de las drogas en Colombia. ¿Qué tanto tienen que ver, que ver la influencia de los Estados Unidos en este problema? Mira, yo pienso que los Estados Unidos tienen que ver mucho porque conjuntamente es un problema de todos y conjuntamente vamos a lograr una solución como hasta el momento lo estamos haciendo. I think that United... Un momento, por favor. I think that the United States have a lot to do with this because the problem is not only ours, it belongs to all of us. And together, we all together are going to get to the solution. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. May I ask you, what positive things should we know about Colombia? ¿Qué es lo positivo? ¿Qué cosas positivas tenemos que saber de Colombia? Muchas cosas positivas existen en Colombia. Mucha gente linda, muchos valores humanos y mucha gente que quiere emprender muchos proyectos para alcanzar muchas cosas lindas. En Colombia está muchas riquezas, las esmeraldas, el café, las flores. Gracias. The, there is a lot of beautiful things in Colombia. The people, the values, the people, the values, the people, the values. There is a lot of, of nat natural wealth, the coffee, the flowers, the women. We have a lot of beautiful things in Colombia. An exact translation. Muchas gracias. Please wait one moment. Thank you very much. Would you join Miss India? You'll notice it takes a little bit longer with the translations. Everybody is getting the same time. Next, Miss Mexico. Marielle del Rosario has a degree in tourism, is now working on uh, her public relations career. Would you join me again, please? You have been an exchange student here in the United States. How does an American family differ from one in Mexico? Tú has sido estudiante de intercambio en los Estados Unidos. ¿En qué se diferencia la familia americana de la familia mexicana? 
Bueno, las dos tenemos cosas muy positivas. Yo creo que la familia americana se diferencia de la mexicana que trabajan la mayor parte del tiempo y es imposible tener a la familia reunida. Yo creo que muy po pocas veces se reúne la familia. Well, I think that both, we have uh, positive values, each, both of them. But the American family, they are always working and it's never, never possible to have them all together at the same time. It's true. You once jumped into a bull ring. Do you like excitement? Una vez brincaste de, al, al ruedo del torero. ¿Te gusta el exi la excitación? Sí, así es. Me gusta mucho las corridas de toros, las peleas de gallos. Y sí, la verdad, sí brinqué al, al ring. Y eso lo hacemos en, en la ciudad de, de Tlaxcala. Que es muy, es muy excitante y muy emocionante, pero nunca lo voy a volver a hacer. Yes, I did do that. I did do that. I like bullfights, cockfights. I did jump into the in the in a little bull ring that we have in the city of Tlaxcala, but I'll never do that again. I hope not. <laughs> Please face forward for a moment. The judges will score. That's Miss Mexico. Thank you. Next is Miss Turkey coming up in a moment. Miss Turkey, I announced you a little bit early. Uh, this is Giuliani Atesh. She's a university student majoring in English literature. What do you want to do when you complete your studies? Uh, I have three more years to complete my studies. After that, uh, I want to continu continue with master program in America about international public relations. And then I want to be a businesswoman. If I were to go to Turkey as a tourist, what would you recommend I see? Uh, if you're interested in history, there are several places to see in Turkey. And uh, first of all, uh, I think it's because of near my city. I would uh, advise you to go to Ephesus and Kushadasu. What is the biggest challenge your country faces in the 90s? I think it's about the teenagers, because uh, I think the teenagers are the people who build the country. And it's about education. Education is a very big problem because we have university exams and if you can't pass that exam, you can't go to the university. It was my problem and I couldn't pass my university exam at the first year. So it had a very big problem for me and for all uh, for the Turkish teenagers. Thank you very much. Please hold here for a moment. That's Miss Turkey. Thank you very much. Next is Miss Chile, Urania Haltenhoff. She's a university student majoring in accounting. And again, may I have our translator? Thank you for joining us. It says here you want to have your own accounting firm one day. Now, if your biggest client someday asked you to, uh, how do we say, juggle the books, what would be your answer? Entendemos que quieres tener tu propia firma de contaduría. Si tu cliente más grande te pide que arregles los libros, ¿qué harías? Es imposible realmente. Si uno quiere ser un buen auditor, un buen contador auditor, en lo cual lo más importante es el prestigio, es imposible dejarse dominar por el afán del dinero, ¿no? Yo pienso que en ese caso le diría a mi gran cliente que no podría hacer ese trabajo, lo siento, por, por mi prestigio profesional. I think it's impossible. I think it's impossible. You have to, to keep it. Uh, you want, want to be a good accountant and have a good impression and be honest. And, but if you want to go for the money, you, you cannot do that. I would tell my, my important client, no, you cannot do that. I would not do it. Thank you very much. Will you please wait for the judges to score? Thank you. Please join the other women. That's Miss Chile. Thank you, ladies, very, very much. Some very, very strong interviews in that group. It's tough to answer questions when the heat is on like that. Especially with 600 million people watching you. Exactly. Thanks for reminding us of that too, Margaret. <laughs> Miss Columbia, I thought, handled herself really well, as they all did, but she really had the pressure on her with the drug issue. She did. She's been under a lot of pressure this whole week from the press, having to deal with a very difficult topic. And she's handled it with great diplomacy. 
I also thought Miss Mexico in injecting a little humor never hurts with the judges, it seems. It does, and when you're able to get a response from the audience, it, it adds points to your score. The judges like to hear that you can communicate with people. So charm goes a long way as Indeed well. Indeed it does. Of course, Margaret, uh, Carol Gist, Miss USA, mm -hmm. is coming up in the second group of interviews. Indeed. We have had someone from the States in the finals every year for the last 10 years, but we've not had a winner since Sean Weatherly in 1980. Maybe Carol can turn that around for us. How do you think she'll do tonight? I think she just might. She'll do very well. I watched her at the USA pageant, and she simply knocked the judges' questions right out of the ballpark. The camera loves this girl. She doesn't seem to have a bad angle. In fact, I saw her at the People's Choice Awards. She was on the stage with the likes of Meryl Streep, Meryl Streep and Jack Nicholson, and she handled herself with total confidence. This girl has star quality. That seems to be the word on Carol. I've never seen her rattle, have you? Neither have, have I, and I don't think she's going to tonight. Well, we will soon see how Carol and the rest of the semifinalists do when we come back. Welcome back to Hollywood as we continue our interview competition with five more outstanding young women. And our sixth semifinalist is uh, Miss Bolivia Rosario Ricotoro. She's 17 years of age, a recent high school graduate, soon to begin university. Rosario, you've asked to have an interpreter standing by. We'll ask, just in case, please join us again. You're very precise, but I don't think you're going to work on this one. You said in your biography that you wanted to become the Minister of Education in your country. What would you change? Well, I would change uh, this education system. That means I lived three years in the United States, and I went to a public school. And when I got back to Bolivia, I saw the difference, even being a private school. So I wanted to change that, to be a private school in Bolivia as a public school is in the United States, you see, so children can graduate and uh, face life because in, if in Bolivia you the um, elementary education I think needs a new change very good thank you very much will you hold for just one moment while the judges give you a score thank you Miss Bolivia if you'd uh, step over there for a moment Our next candidate is coming up Here's Miss Czechoslovakia, Jana Rankova. She's 23 years of age. She's a medical student. We will need our interpreter here this time. You have noticed many dramatic changes in your country in the past year. What is next? You are okay? I hope that the next will be changes of economy because it's very important. But uh, everybody in my country are just very happy that uh, was so good changes. Everybody loves our Mr. President Václav Havel and the new government. Uh, you are studying, pardon me. You are studying to be a doctor. Your mother is a doctor? Yes, my mother is a doctor too. Will these, I'm sorry, will these changes affect you? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you were going to say something about your mother? Something about my mother? What does she, she is a, a specialist? A, my mother is a gynecologist. You're following in her footsteps. Thank you very much. Please stand by. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Miss Czechoslovakia. Miss Venezuela, Andrena Gertz is 20 years of age, a university student from Caracas. Again, we'll have our interpreter stand by, but I know she's never going to. You really don't want this woman here, do you? No, I don't need it. You may go home. <laughs> you have a special interest in environmental causes. Tell us about it. Yes, I've always been interested in it, and um, I think we all should be interested in environmental causes. We all should take care of our world, and um, let's give nature a chance. You are studying to be an industrial engineer. What is industry's responsibility to the environment? Well, most of the pollution is made by industries, and um, I think an, an industrial engineer should take care of it and try to somehow solve it. So that's what I'd like to do. 
Thank you very much. Please wait for our judges to give you a score. Miss Venezuela, if you will, please step over there with the other women. Next is Miss USA, Carol Gist. She's 20 years of age from Detroit. She's studying hotel management. Carol, since you were crowned, do your family and friends treat you any differently? No. As a matter of fact, uh, one of the positive things that I've seen as a result of winning is my family coming closer together, and I'm happy to be a, the cause of that. <laughs> I have seen interviews with you all over the media. Do you have any feeling that there is anything they shouldn't ask you? <laughs> Well, um, I, I realize that now that I'm in the spotlight and I should be a role model. And if there are questions that they feel they should ask that will help me to uh, be a role model for the young people, I feel they should go ahead and ask them. Right, let me lighten up a little bit. You said somewhere when if you got married, you'd want your husband to take your last name. <laughs> Is this true? Now, there are just 600 million people watching. Let's get this out in the open. Well, I'm proud of the, my last name, the Gist name, and I would like to be able to carry it on. All right, thank you very much. Stand by, please. Thank you, Miss USA, if you join the others. Here is Miss Norway, Mona Groot, who's a professional model. She just turned 19 while she was here in Los Angeles. Happy birthday. I guess everybody knows, Mona, that modeling eventually stops. It comes to an end. What will you do when it does? Uh, then I will study and be a nurse, because uh, I would like to work with the poor children in, uh, for example, Africa. Why would you want to go to a third country? Uh, because I, uh, I feel that in Norway we have a lot of nurses and uh, I can feel that I can f do something uh, helpful in, in Africa to help the poor children. We have talked about changes happening all over the world. How will your life differ from the life of your mother? Hmm? What do you mean? Your mother lived in another age. Things have changed. Uh, will, your, will your life be different? Uh, yes, I think so, because uh, the woman today has, uh, has the opportunity to get more education and to work and get the same pay as men, and uh, my mother didn't get that. Thank you very much. Please stand by for a moment. Judges will score. Thank you very much, Miss Norway. Thank you, ladies. You were all great. Thank you. Okay, why don't we bring up the official results from the interview competition now. As we turn to the monitor, you can see Miss Norway is leading. By the way, she was also ahead in our preliminary competition. She continues to perform very strongly. Miss Columbia in second place. Carol Gist, we knew she would do well. She is in third place. And you can see how the other girls stacked up in the interview competition. Interesting, we did say that we thought Carol would, would do well, and she's in the top three. Um, tough question about the last name. I, I think she, she really pulled that off. I wasn't surprised to see that she wasn't thrown by that. However, I think that we must remember Bolivia did extremely well. She's only 17 years of age. It's hard to believe when you, when you see these girls to remember they are quite young. For, to have them answer the questions in our language, realizing that for many of those in that group it was not their native tongue, I think that, that gives them extra credit for performing very well. I do indeed. I think it's actually a bit of an, um, a detriment if the girl tries to answer the question not in her own language. There is somebody to help her translate and to be able to communicate clearly. She should use the translator. It's more effective. Good, strong group of 10 interviews. Remember, though, this is only the first of three competitions which carry equal weight in the scoring tonight. One of the fun things, I think, for us to watch with the pageant this week has been all the new friendships Indeed. that have been forming among the contestants. Something quite extraordinary has been happening between Miss Soviet Union and Miss Israel. Tell us about it, Margaret. 
Well, we wondered if they'd get along because Miss Israel was born in the Soviet Union and immigrated to Israel. But it turns out they're both Latvian and they discovered that they were born in the same town, in the same hospital, just five days apart. Miss Israel has been translating Latvian to English for the Soviet contender throughout the pageant. And Lisa, they've actually become firm friends. Yeah, well, we'll see. That'll work until they fall for the same guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to hear that translation. Can you imagine? What did he say? He said he likes me best. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> when we come back, we'll have a sensational Hollywood musical number from the contestants. And then, yes, the swimsuits are coming up right after this word from Ultra Slim Fast. You know, the great Hollywood musicals were famous for their glamorous production numbers, and so is the Miss Universe pageant. Every year, young women arrive from all over the world, meet for the first time, figure out how to conduct rehearsals in about 37 languages, and they come up with something wonderful. Now, tonight, live on our stage with Angela Visser, the reigning Miss Universe, they pay a musical tribute to some of Hollywood's brightest stars, those legendary ladies of the movie musicals. Ladies, lights, camera, action! Need to relax? Need to escape? Go see Fay Ray in the Polvenet. Life can be grand from the third row. Just go to the movies. Just go to a picture show. universe is almost over. How do you feel at the moment? I feel great. I think there's no better way to say goodbye. Well, you certainly made a memorable exit. Thanks you were wonderful so out there. Thanks. Now stay with us, and next you'll see the 10 semi-finalists in the swimsuit competition. The pageant will continue. You know, Hollywood seems like a very appropriate place for a swimsuit competition. The Pacific Ocean is just a few minutes away, and Hollywood history owes an awful lot to the combination of swimsuits and movie stars, from Max Sennett's bathing beauties to the pinup girls of the 40s, right up to the stars of today. Tonight, our semifinalists appear in competition swimwear by Catalina and shoes by Federico. 
And as they model, we've asked each candidate to tell us a little more about herself. Let's begin with Miss India. She's Suzanne Sablo. She's five feet eight inches tall, dark brown hair and brown eyes. She's 23 years old. In my country, there's still the influence of genteel sports. As a result, in addition to jogging and cycling, I like badminton and cricket. Miss Colombia, Lizette Maecha, 18 years of age. She has brown hair and brown eyes. She's five feet, nine inches tall. Once aboard an airplane, I gave CPR to heart attack victim and helped to save her life. Miss Mexico, Marele Del Rosario, 21 years of age, has black hair and brown eyes. She's five feet, seven inches tall. Sometimes excitement really gets to me, like I once jumped in the ring in the middle of the bullfight. I'll never do that again. Miss Turkey, Juliana Atesh, a 19-year-old, she's 5 feet 7 inches tall, has black hair and dark brown eyes. On Fridays and Saturdays, in my hometown, I spend time with people who are handicapped. I hope they get as much out of it as I do. Miss Chile, 22 years of age. She is Urania Haltenhoff. She has brown hair and green eyes. Today, in my country, more and more women are in executive positions. And I'm happy with this progress. And I hope to become a part of it. Miss Bolivia, Rosario Rico Toro. She's 5 feet 10 inches tall, has brown hair and brown eyes. She's 17 years old. I have made a study of mind control. I don't believe others stop us from reaching our goals. We do it ourselves. We put our own barriers and only we can take them down. Miss Czechoslovakia, Jana Rankova. She's 5 feet 9 inches tall, has blonde hair and blue eyes. She's 23 years old. I'm very interested in politics because everybody in my country cares about politics now. And I love my new president, Václav Havel. Miss Venezuela, Andrena Gertz, has brown hair and blue eyes. She's 20 years old and stands 5 feet 10 inches tall. I have two health tips besides exercise. One is never go on crash diets. And the other, don't worry, be happy. Miss USA, Carol Gist. Carol is six feet tall, 20 years of age. She has dark brown hair and dark brown eyes. I frequently advise young people to put only quality food and quality information in their bodies so they may lead a quality life. Miss Norway, Mona Groot. She's 5 feet 8 inches tall, has light brown hair, green eyes, and she's 19 years old. Exercise is not only something that I enjoy, it is also something that I have studied. I have had 9 years of ballet training and 8 years of gymnastics. Thank you, ladies. That completes our swimsuit competition. I love that Miss Venezuela says, don't worry, be happy. Easy to say if you look like that, huh? I don't know. I'm thinking about adding, oh, maybe another hour or two to my workout. <laughs> Let's turn now to the uh, monitor and see how the swimsuit competition shapes up here. Miss Norway out in front, followed by Miss Colombia and Miss Bolivia, as you can see. 
Well, there is no question about the glamour and prestige that go with the title of Miss Universe. But tonight's winner will also receive very tangible rewards of cash and gifts, totaling nearly a quarter of a million dollars. And she'll make a guest appearance on a Paramount television series in the upcoming year. Now with the assistance of the Century Plaza Hotel and Tower and the reigning Miss Universe, Angela Visser, let's take a look at those prizes. A one-week vacation in the penthouse suite from the Century Plaza Hotel and Tower. 25 years of luxury, service, and style to dignitaries, celebrities, business, and pleasure travelers worldwide. The Avanti Convertible, a masterpiece of automotive design. The genius is in its detail, the result of more than a thousand hours of hand finishing. From natural full-grain leathers to elm burl woods, each custom-crafted Avanti is designed for those who still believe car building is an art. She receives $5,000 cash and a great collection of Caboodles Beauty Organizers. Caboodles have clever compartments, big adjustable mirrors, and fun colors. Caboodles, the beauty organizers the beauty experts use. Sharp Vision, a revolutionary new LCD video projection system from Sharp Electronics. Easy to set up. The ultimate home theater for movies, sports, TV shows. A clear picture that zooms up to 100 inches. Sharp Vision. She also receives a fabulous collection of Federico and Federico Leone shoes, the perfect footwear for today's on-the-go young woman, with styling and flair to complement the spirit and confidence of all our contestants tonight. She receives exquisite eyewear from Marcolin of Italy by Marchon. Flattering styles, flawless fit, unsurpassed quality. Marchon, the official eyewear of the Miss Universe pageant. From Hawaiian Tropic Sun Care Products, Miss Universe receives a $5,000 cash prize. Hawaiian Tropic World Class Sun Protection is available in over 85 countries around the world. Aloha from Hawaiian Tropic. She receives $5,000 cash from Prell, plus a one-year supply of Prell shampoo and conditioner with Prell's famous Clean Rinse technology for luxuriously full hair. Prell, the cleaner the rinse, the fuller the hair. From Minolta, $6,000, a video camera and VCR, plus the incomparable Maxim 7000 ISLR system, the world's most sophisticated autofocus camera. Accept no limitations, only from the mind of Minolta. She'll enjoy the luxury of Visage Beauté Cosmetics, created and blended to match any color in the universe. Visage Beauté, favored by discerning women who desire the privilege of unlimited color choices. Our winner receives a gorgeous full-length natural black llama mink coat. And a sporty mink jacket for all occasions from the internationally famous Flemington Fur Company of Flemington, New Jersey. From the oldest watch manufacturer in the world, Fasheron Constantine awards Miss Universe its Lady Phidias solid gold watch. Handcrafted with diamond markers and bezel, joined by an 18 karat gold bracelet from Fasheron Constantine, Geneva, Switzerland. From Secret Antiperspirant, she receives stunning evening gowns from Sherry Hill Designs, as well as $5,000 cash, all from Secret, the official antiperspirant of the Miss Universe pageant. And who gets to take home all those prizes? There will be only six candidates left after the next competition, which will be the evening gowns. So while the girls are backstage, we thought we'd chat a little bit with you folks at home. Margaret, tell us what we can look for in this next area. Well, Lisa, almost every gown has a story to it. Some of the gowns cost as much as $10,000. Miss USA, for instance, is wearing a gown by Bob Mackey that he made in a special red color just for her. And Miss Venezuela's gown is by Guy Millet, who designed several pageant winners. On the other hand, Miss Turkey's mother designed her gown, and Miss Norway's was made by a friend. But in the end, it's not the cost of the gown that matters, but how the girl wears it. Absolutely. Well, no doubt there's some memorable girls and gowns among our 10 semifinalists. You'll see them right after this word from Pringles. Welcome back to the Schubert Theater and our last round of semifinal competition. Now, there's always been a grand Hollywood tradition of beautiful women wearing beautiful clothes, and the Miss Universe pageant has its own tradition, the evening gown competition. Now, our contestants will be wearing gowns of their own choosing, and tonight, we continue another cherished tradition. Wherever the pageant goes all over the world, 
The contestants are joined by girls of various national backgrounds who serve as their little sisters. And tonight, our little girls appear in Shirley Temple dresses by Sherry Hill Design. So as you look for Miss Universe 1990 among the 10 semifinalists, you may also be meeting Miss Universe 2005. Young ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, the 1990 Miss Universe Evening Gown Competition, beginning with Miss India. Columbia. Mexico. Chile. Bolivia. Czechoslovakia. 
Venezuela. say That concludes our 1990 evening gown competition and our semifinals. Thank you, ladies. Those little girls are so precious. I must tell you, a lot of the contestants have been trying on not only the title of Miss Universe, but they've been trying on Mommy as well. Let's turn to the monitor now, and we'll check the scores, see who leads in this last semifinal competition in the evening gowns. Miss Norway, very strong tonight out in front, followed by Miss Colombia. Miss Chile is in third position, and here's the rest of the girls and how they placed in the evening gown competition. Well, the composite scores are now being added. We will know who the six finalists are right after this. And now we're back live on the stage of the Schubert Theater for a very crucial moment of the evening. We're about to find out which six young women will go on to the next round. Let me get the results, if I may. Thank you, sir, very much. Audience, let's see if you can agree with our judges. I've just received the scores, and ladies, this is the moment. Once again, I'll remind you that there's no particular order here. I will just call out the names of the countries. The finalists are Miss Colombia. <laughs> Miss Bolivia. <laughs> Miss Mexico. Three names remain, one of which is Miss Norway. There are two left, Miss Chile. And finally, Miss USA. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our six semifinalists, one of whom will be Miss Universe 1990.
fans of Miss USA, they were really sweating it for a while there. I don't think the judges realized how tough it would be to pick just six women from that group. We want to remind you that once more, all scores are cleared from the computer. The six finalists are once again on equal footing. Also, in the next two rounds of competition, we won't be seeing the scores. That raises the level of suspense a little bit for all of us. It's kind of more fun to try and choose your own winner. We'll be right back with the questions, which will narrow it down to the final three candidates for Miss Universe 1990, right after this word from Tide. Universe pageant will continue. Now we step up the tension. Another level for our six finalists here in this bowl. We have the names of all of our judges. Each finalist in turn will draw a judge's name and respond to a question which that judge has prepared and will ask her personally. Each candidate has 20 seconds to complete her answer. Also, as the judges vote, they'll be reminded by instant replay pictures on their monitors of how each contestant looked earlier in the swimsuit and evening gown competition. This vote will determine our final three contestants. Judges, if you're ready, we'll begin with Miss Columbia. May I have my interpreter, please? Miss Columbia, if you will. This question comes from judge number nine, Dr. Hang S. Noor. Dr. Noor, you have a question. Yes, uh, what is the one thing guaranteed to make you angry? And how? Uh, one moment, and how? And how do you deal with it? ¿Qué es lo que te hace enojar y cómo lo resuelves? Bueno, realmente yo me considero una persona muy tranquila, muy serena. Sin embargo, como un ser humano, también logro enojarme, sobre todo cuando hay contrariedades y no se pueden solucionar muy rápidamente. Well, I consider myself a very peaceful and serene person, but I am also a human being, and I do get upset at, uh, with things that have no solution. Thank you very much. Please wait a moment for the judges to give you a score. Lisette told us that she's dreamed of being Miss Universe since she was a child. Her mother's here with her tonight, her father home in Colombia, taking care of her brother and sister. Thank you, Miss Colombia. Miss Bolivia, if you would like to uh, reach in. This question comes from judge number seven, J.D. Nicholas. Uh, Miss Bolivia, what's the most memorable thing you've learned from one of the other contestants at this pageant? Well, not only from the contestants, mainly the, uh, from them, but from all the people who surround us. I've learned that circumstances and people don't put barriers to us, but it's ourselves. And that is why I'm here, because I want Bolivians, my country, to see that if they really want something, they can make it. And that's a great um, emotion when you reach something and you say, I'm happy because I've made it. The contestants who have not made it, I think it's because it really didn't want that. Thank you very much. Please wait here a moment for scoring. This is real pressure for Rosario. Now, she comes from a political family, so they're quite used to competition. I kind of doubt if they've ever experienced anything quite like this. Miss Bolivia, thank you very much. Miss Mexico, you may I have the interpreter, please? Por favor, will you... Um... This question comes from uh, judge number two, Martin Ransahoff. What do you think is the greatest problem in the world for today's young people? ¿Cuál es el problema más grande que existe en el mundo para los jóvenes de hoy? El problema más grande del mundo yo creo que es la drogadicción y la delincuencia. Yo creo que podemos tener un poquito de conciencia todos y debemos trabajar mucho para salir adelante y reunir todas nuestras fuerzas para trabajar mucho en ellos que son el futuro de, de nuestro mundo. I think that the greatest problem in the world, in, especially in youth, is drug addiction and delinquency. But if we all uh, uh, work together, we can solve the problem because all our future is in their hands. Thank you very much. Could you wait a moment? Well, Marale looks pretty calm, but she has a nine-year-old brother. His name Marco. He's out here in the audience cheering her on, and I bet Marco is muy nervioso. Thank you, Miss Mexico. Miss Norway, would you step forward, please? I'll stir the questions up a little bit. Please select a question. 
This comes from uh, judge number three, Dr. Susan Forward. Ms. Norway, do you think that a woman is unfulfilled if she doesn't have children? No, I don't think so, because uh, she can um, have a lot of other experiences in her life. And uh, if she, if she really don't want to have children, it's, it's up to her, I think so. Thank you very much. Please wait for the scoring to take place. Mona, as we said earlier, turned 19 last week, and the contestants all celebrated with her. I'm sure all of Norway will celebrate tonight if she becomes their first Miss Universe. Thank you, Miss Norway. Miss Chile? We have some still left, please. This question comes from judge number 12, Steve Allen. Who or what makes you laugh? ¿Qué o, o qué persona te hace reír? Bueno, eh, me hacía mucho reír y lo cual, el personaje que más me encanta en, el, en la diversión es Jerry Lewis, el cual encuentro un personaje sensacional. Me encantan sus películas y bueno, hasta el día de hoy lo disfruto tanto como cuando era muy chica. Gracias. Well, the guy I used to lo love, I used to like Jerry Lewis because of a wonderful sense of humor. I love his movies and his acting, and even though I'm older now, I still enjoy him even though I'm not a little girl. Thank you very much. Please wait here for the judges to score. Uranea is the youngest of five kids, and she says she likes getting all the attention. Well, if she's Miss Universe, she'll get a lot of that. Thank you, Miss Chile. Miss USA, if you would please. Select a judge. Uh, there are two here. I'll just shake one off there. This is judge number eight, Deborah Nadulman. What has been the most difficult moment of your life, and what did you learn from it? Well, the most difficult part of my life was the last half of my high school days and the beginning part of my college days. I've learned that I can be independent and take care of myself and go on to do whatever it is that I want to do. I have the gift of choice, God gave it to me, and I'm using it to go on and to enhance my life as well as share what I will attain through my entrepreneur endeavors with the young people of t tomorrow. Thank you very much. Please wait a moment. You have to wonder if Carol is thinking about the home country jinx tonight. It's been over 25 years since the contestant won Miss Universe in her own country. Thank you, Miss USA. Now that completes the competition for our six finalists. It's amazing to me the girls seem to be so calm. I find this incredibly nerve-wracking. It, it actually is, and it's very difficult to think on your feet and to come up with an intelligent answer that shows that you have potential as well. They did well. Carol, once again. <laughs> All right, when we come back, we'll announce the final three candidates for the title of Miss Universe 1990. That's right after this word from Vidal Sassoon. During the last year, there were thousands of young women all over the world hoping to become Miss Universe 1990, and by the time this evening rolled around, there were 71. And that 71 became 10. And those 10 became 6, and I am about to announce the names of the final three. Before I read their names, I'd like to congratulate all of you. You're all magnificent. Thank you very much for coming this far in face of extraordinary competition. Now again, ladies, I'm going to read these three names in no particular order. This is the final three. Miss USA. <laughs> Miss Norway. And finally, Miss Columbia. One of these three will be the new Miss Universe.
or break it for these girls. Now you've been there. You know what it feels like. What are the girls thinking? Lisa, they may look calm, cool, and collected, but they're in absolute turmoil now. For they realize that this reply can change their future. It's the very best and worst moment of their entire lives. Well, it is the last chance to impress the judges. Right now, it's anybody's crown. Folks, if you think you can handle the suspense and the noise, let's go back to the stage. <laughs> Now, the very last round of competition for our final three. We're going to ask each young lady one last question, the very same question. You'll have 20 seconds in which to answer. For this to be fair, we're going to make sure that the other two candidates don't hear the question or the response. So, if Miss Columbia and Miss Norway, please go to the soundproof booth. We'll play you some music in there. Miss USA, if you'll step over here, please. Would you hold my microphone for me, please? Same question for everyone. If you were a judge tonight, who would you vote for to be the Miss Universe and why? Well, all of the girls who were here tonight were qualified and very unique and special in their own way. But I was very, very partial to my roommate. She was a wonderful young woman, and I wish her the best. And I'd have to say I'd vote for Miss Trinidad. That's very nice. Thank you very much. Would you step over here, please? Miss Norway. Miss Norway, we are asking everyone the same question. If you were a judge tonight, who would you vote for to be the new Miss Universe and why? I think it's very difficult to answer on that, but uh, I think Miss Finland, because uh, she is, she's always in a good mood and always kind to everybody and sharing everybody up when, when they're down. Thank you very much. If you would step over here, please. May I have the interpreter, please? Miss Columbia. This is the same question we've asked everyone. Si tú fueras juez eh, hoy en la noche, ¿por quién votarías y por qué? Did you, did you say it in Spanish already? I did. I thought I recognized it. All right, you know the question. Bueno, realmente yo quisiera seguir siendo candidata, seguir siendo Miss Colombia. No quisiera estar en el lugar de los jueces, pero cualquiera que sea, que sea bienvenido el premio. Thank you. I would like to keep on being Miss, Miss Colombia. I would, I would not like to be a, a, a judge at this stance. But uh, whoever they pick, it would be great. Thank you very much. Please, if you would, come over here. Thank you, ladies. Nicely done. And now, we have arrived at the final moment of decision. As each young lady steps forward, the judges will vote for the very last time, giving each contestant a ranking. They'll vote for her to be the second runner-up, the first runner-up, or the new Miss Universe. And we will begin with Miss USA. Now imagine what's going through this young woman's mind. She is Miss USA. Will she be the new Miss Universe? Next is Miss Norway. She's come a long way to be here. It's been an exciting two weeks, and this moment could change her entire life. Miss Columbia. She is a magnificent woman. She's wondering, here I stand in the United States. Will they make me the new Miss Universe? That completes our final round of competition. Thank you, ladies. Can you imagine what's going through the minds of those three young women as they wait for the decision? Well, they won't have to wait much longer, and neither will we. When we come back, the new Miss Universe will be crowned. Right after this word from Secret, the official antiperspirant of the Miss Universe pageant. In a few moments, when one of our three becomes the new Miss Universe, She'll have some very impressive shoes to fill, and it's now my pleasure to present for the traditional final walk and farewell a young woman who's brought great credit to herself and her native country, Holland, and to the Miss Universe pageant. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Universe 1989, Angela Visser. Hello, 
Uranus Miss Universe has been a great education for me about the world and about life. From the first surprising moment when I won the crown in Cancun, this year has been full of fantastic experiences. The strong values I learned from my loving family and their support and that of my friends helped me handle the responsibilities of this prestigious title. My little hometown of Nieuwekerk and the IJssel in Holland gave me such a warm and wonderful homecoming. And I just love traveling all over the world and meeting so many extraordinary and interesting people, being on television, making public appearances and just having fun. Now, as I settle down in Los Angeles to pursue a career, I want to thank the people of the Miss Universe pageant, who truly became my American family, for opening so many doors for me, both personally and professionally. It has been a great step into the future. Thank all of you so much for everything. very very much thanks for all you've done for this universe we wish you great success in your career and now the moment we've tabulated the judges rankings for second and first runners-up and the new Miss Universe and the accounting firm of Ernst & Young has reviewed the results for your accuracy mr. Mark Ward will now give me the printout thank you mark ladies may I say before we do this that any one of you would make a wonderful Miss Universe thank you very much good luck to assist us, the reigning Miss Teen USA, Brandy Sherwood. Brandy, welcome. And now, one of these three will be the new Miss Universe. Are you ready? The name of the second runner-up is Miss Columbia. Here we go, ladies. Step forward. I'm about to reveal the name of our first runner-up and the new Miss Universe. Let me remind you of the importance of the first runner-up. If Miss Universe can't complete her reign for any reason, our first runner-up will become Miss Universe. This had to be the most single difficult job the judges had. Good luck to both of you. The first runner-up is Miss USA. Miss Universe is Miss Norway. Mother Group. Norway, you are the Miss Universe 1990. You've won all the cash awards and the fabulous prizes worth nearly a quarter of a million dollars. And now, as your predecessor, Angela Visser reads the Miss Universe Creed and our entire cast serenade you. The stage is yours for the traditional walk as the new Miss Universe. Representing the countries in the Miss Universe pageant, in order to further the cause of peace and mutual understanding, dedicate ourselves to the ideals of friendship and goodwill among all the people of the world. For all of us on the stage, for the whole staff, Lisa Gibbons, Margaret Gardner, from Hollywood, tonight, thank you. Night. Good night, everyone.
Best Hotel for the Miss Universe Passion. 25 years of luxury service and style to dignitaries, celebrities, business, and pleasure travelers worldwide. Portions of this program were recorded. Provided by KLM Royal Dutch Airlines.